shopping can be stressful, but it's important to remember it's the sentiment that matters and not the price mm -hmm. tag. And here with some gift ideas with personal touch and some gift giving etiquette tips is culture and etiquette coach Akila City Easter. Hey Thank guys. you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Okay, so when it comes to giving gifts, the first question is because you're forming your list. Yes. Who yes, do you give you. gifts to? Yeah, I think the people that you encounter the most, right? So you want to make sure that you're being if the, the season is generosity, right? So you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you're not bending your budget to try to give 50 people gifts. Okay. Keep it to the people that are close to you, uh, people that you use services frequently, such as your babysitter, your coffee people, all those different components. Those are the people that I like to keep in my little circle. What about the mailman the, and the teachers garbage man? and all that? The yeah. school bus driver. Well, you know, they have some restrictions. If you're a federal employee, you technically cannot get some money, sort of like for the mailman okay. or a mail person, right? So they can only get a maximum of $20 worth of the gift. Now, FedEx and UPS, they kind of say that they really don't, their, their headquarters, they don't give gifts, but they, they can't refuse them so they can get gifts because they're not federal employees uh, teachers mm -hmm. all of those different components you want your kids to get good no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they remember, right? they remember. <laughs> but yeah you want to make sure the people that you your kids are encountering the most and that you encounter the most that's who I focus on okay mm -hmm. okay so you've got some ideas for us yeah okay and everything is $50 and under okay. um, I kind of for my gift giving season I take the same gift and I give it to everybody oh, so that's how I so choose it it's smart. easy and it's, it doesn't cause any stress right that's okay. great so personalization so this is actually this was under $15 so it has a personalized my name is on here it's a little travel jewelry box oh that's cute I gave this to all of my guests at my birthday party and they were in love they called me and asked me where they where they got it from and this oh. is from an Etsy market when you go to my website you'll be able to see where I got all of these different wait, wait gifts. you gave them a gift with your name on it yeah, no with their name on oh, it oh I was like <laughs> Wait a minute, well, I gave them a gift with my <laughs> name on it. So they had to RSVP, right? There right. were some rules with the RSVP, and I had their names, it was ready for them, and they fell in love. So this is a good little travel gift. I like to put all my jewelry. I take my family mementos when I go traveling, just in case. But this is easy peasy for you to, to go on the road. That's a great idea. Okay. okay. These are kind of coffee table books. These are pretty classic pieces. Mm -hmm. But these are talking pieces. You can get a conversation started when people come to your home. This is one of my favorite directors. This is a Spike Lee's coffee table book. There's so many colorful pictures in here. And mm. that's what can kind of draw somebody when you're kind of in that stagnant where you're not having a conversation and you're like, I don't know what to say. And they can kind of look at this coffee table and be entertained while uh, they're at your home. And flipping through the that's, pictures. Yes. That, yeah, yeah, absolutely. A I lot can of see memories that. from this one right, from my childhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this the, is a really cute one. Yeah, I, I fell in love with this. Um, so I'm trying to switch from coffee, okay? Yeah. So I'm trying to go to tea. And right, so I can't carry around a whole tea set. So here is an actual travel tea set. And if I just push this button, <gasps> Oh, your cup will come here. It's it's loose loose leaf tea right here. You just put hot water right here in the top. You're steeping it as you go. Yep. And oh. it has a filter in there and or a strainer and filter within there. And then you have your nice cup of co or tea oh, to go. Right. That so that is cute. so cute to me. Yeah. And then you have a travel case as well. Just rinse it out and then you're all set. That's okay. a good one. Another personalization. I think I gifted you yes, guys with this we one. Love these. Uh, again, this is this was under thirty dollars for the set, right? So these are things where it, it seems like it's just a simple glass, but when you look at the bottom, mm -hmm. you have your name engraved on the at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So this is a personal touch that you can say, "I did think of you." I didn't just go out and get some random glasses. Right. And this is where you can actually have that personal touch. And then I like to give them a recipe. So we we've, we've been on a theme of making cocktails today. Mm -hmm. So here's a recipe of my favorite drink. I love a Paloma. I'm a client. Me I like too. Yes, yes. Yes. This is a Paloma right here. So I put everything in here for them. I give them the recipe card, and then they can make their that own drink. So, so this is the cute. tequila, the grapefruit juice, and the, everything else. Yep, the lime soda, and then a little salt. For oh, the that, yep. that is really awesome. cute. And this was all what, like I said, under thirty dollars for all of these different components. Dollar store. Oh, that yep. is so <laughs> cute. Oh, yeah, so those are perfect. That's super smart. And then my other job, I love urban agriculture. So here is where you can grow your own herbs herbs in your um, in your own home right yep. so if you're not ready to go do that big garden yeah. in the back mm -hmm. this is a little thing where you can get your little herbs my little cilantro like my little basil if I can just peel this right off and then add this to my salad as I'm cooking and you can grow this in your home on a, a weekly basis oh, that is so, that's so, cute. so that's what I love these are some this is all under $20 and you can see all of these different options and it's affordable so you're not yes. breaking the bank okay oh, you have that. some other gift giving tips yes so you want to just make sure that you personalize I like handwritten notes when you are giving your 
your okay. gifts. Mm -hmm. um, and when you are giving people, you want to make sure that maybe your babysitters, your personal trainers, your hairstylists, they're going to get a service for their tip. So if it's a $60 service, you're going to tip them for the end of the year for about $60. Okay. So that's what they get for their tipping season. And those are the people that you want to make sure that they, they can book you when you need them and all those different components. Oh. Is there anyone you suggest not giving a gift to specifically? I don't give, I stay away from like my bosses, okay. but I do give them cards of recognition, re, you know, recognizing, or yep. if I'm a manager, I kind of give everybody the same concept. I don't give special gifts to different employees because mm. that can show favoritism yes. and things such as that. That's super mm -hmm. smart. Oh, Very oh, smart. Oh, man. Keila, thank you so much. Your well, website is right me. there. Again, more details on her gift ideas and who and who not to gift. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your trap is going to get a lot of traffic. Yeah. I know. <laughs>